Sin, also known as Nana in Sumerian, was indeed the ancient Mesopotamian god of the moon. Sin was a significant deity in Mesopotamian mythology and religion. Particularly in Sumerian and Akkadian cultures, Sin was often depicted as a bearded man wearing a headdress with a crescent moon on it, which represented his association with the moon. He was considered one of the more prominent gods in the Mesopotamian pantheon and was revered as a god of great importance. The moon was seen as a celestial body with a cyclical nature, and Sin was believed to govern the moon's phases. In Mesopotamian religious practices, Sin held a role in divination as lunar phases and celestial events were used to interpret omens. Temples dedicated to Sin existed in various Mesopotamian cities, including Ur and Haran, where priests would conduct rituals and observations of the moon. In Mesopotamian mythology, Sin was often depicted as the son of Enlil, the god of the air, and Ninlil, the goddess of the wind. He was also considered the father of the sun god, Utu, Shamash, and the goddess of love and fertility, Inanna, Ishtar. In Mesopotamian mythology, it was believed that Sin embarked on a nightly journey across the sky. This journey was often described as a boat voyage in a celestial boat, symbolizing the moon's movement across the night sky. The phases of the moon were closely observed and held great significance in Mesopotamian divination and astrology. Different lunar phases were believed to be associated with various omens and could influence events on Earth. Priests and astrologers would carefully monitor the moon's cycles for prophetic purposes. The city of Ur in ancient Sumer was particularly associated with the worship of Sin. The ziggurat of Ur, a massive steppe temple tower, was dedicated to the moon god and served as a center of lunar worship, like many gods in Mesopotamian mythology. Sin appeared in various myths and stories. Some of these myths involved his family relations and interactions with other gods. One well-known story involves the theft of the Tablets of Destiny a significant divine artifact which Sin played a role in recovering. The worship of Sin extended beyond Mesopotamia. In later periods, as various civilizations rose and fell in the region, the worship of the moon god persisted and sometimes evolved. For example, Sin was also worshipped in the city of Haran during the Hellenistic and Roman periods. Sin is typically depicted as an older, bearded god with a crescent moon on his head. In art and inscriptions, he is often shown holding a staff or a scepter and wearing a horned headdress with the moon symbol. The worship of Sin, the god of the moon, was an integral part of the religious and cultural landscape of ancient Mesopotamia, and he held a central place in the pantheon of... of... a central place in the pantheon of gods in this region. Welcome to Pathology. Like, comment, and subscribe.